All right, so what I want to do now is I want to talk about just how to graph a straight line. Uh, a lot of students are struggling with this, and part of it, I think, is in high school, we get taught how to use our calculators really well. And when it comes to actually doing it on paper, we have a really hard time translating that. I have a lot of people that I can tell they plugged it into their calculator because they can draw the line in generally the right spot, but they don't know how to get the details. They don't know how to get the ordered pairs, where it needs to cross, where exactly it needs to be. That's like me saying, here's a bunch of computers, go throw them in the S building. And all I'm going to do is take them in the lobby and dump them. That's no details. But if I have all the details, okay, I need to put so many in S101, I need to put so many in S102, so many in S103, that's the details that allows us to do our jobs the way they're supposed to be done. So they're just, all right, dump them in the student center, hope no one steals them. All right? So that's pretty much what's coming across when we graph it on our calculator and we just do a random line, generally on the right spot, but it's not really in the right spot. You've got to make sure you get all the ordered pairs. You've got to make sure it's in the right place. It's labeled. We're trying to get y'all to where when you go to the, your work, you're detail oriented. You're focusing on what do I need to do? How do I need to get it done correctly as well as efficiently? So when we're looking at this, the first thing you have to do no matter what, even if you're using your calculator, you have to solve for y. So we're going to take it and say minus 3x, minus 3x. It's going to give us 5y equals negative 3x plus 10. You could do 10 minus 3x, that doesn't matter. Um, since my videos are mainly targeted towards people going into college algebra or in college algebra, I'm going to try to keep it in the y equals mx plus b format. We are not yet solved for y. I cannot put 5y equals into my calculator. Continue to solve for y. Divide by 5. Divide by 5, divide by 5. y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 2. Okay, so that's your equation solved for y. Now, once you learn how to graph, you should be able to graph this a whole lot faster by hand than with the calculator. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you what this formula is. Y equals mx plus b. As long as y is completely alone, the number that does not have a variable, that's your y-intercept. That's 0, 2. Okay, so we come over here. 0, 2. Okay. The number in front of x, not including, but in front of x, that's your slope m equals negative 3 over 5. I always throw the negative to the top. That tells me whether or not to go up or down. If it's negative, we go down. If it's positive, go up. Always run to the right. So once you get this equation, you're like 2, dot, dot, put your dot. Slope tells you from this dot to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put your next dot. You know how to make ordered pairs. This is 5 comma negative 1. Connect the dots. It should not take you very long to just make ordered pairs, or to just graph a line. It should be quicker to do it by hand than in your calculator. If you insist on using your calculator, it is a tool we need to know how to use. Don't look at the graph. Go second graph and look at the table and get your ordered pairs. That way your graph is in the right place as well as it's right on paper as well as in your calculator. So, but we do need to make sure we know rise over run. If it's positive, go up. If it's negative, go down. Always run the right way. Always run to the right. If you ever see me running, you better run with me because something's chasing me. We always want to make sure we're going the right way. Well, run right. <laughs> 